back again my beautiful people and you don't know the boy Yardman there yeah. just leaving the Emirates Stadium where Arsenal drew 1-1 third game in the season we dropped two points I'm not gonna say it's worrying because it's just two points with three games in the season so we have all the rest of the game them to recuperate back that points and that is beating the biggest rival that we have to play and that's you know the top team then beat them and then we get back ourselves in contention but we didn't lose the game today but we dropped two points and I believe that Mikel Arteta didn't really and truly go brave enough and when I mean brave when we get um, Declan Rice get the second yellow card and get sent off I believe what Mikel Arteta should have done is go three at the back put him by midfield and just see for 10-15 minutes how it go either uh, Put him, yeah, and see how it goes. But what he done, he he leave it like that for a good 10, 12 minutes, and then when he realized that we're under pressure, dare him go to take put on Calafuri and take off, um, take off, um, Trussard, yeah, and put Timber in 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 defense and go five at the back. So you got Ben White, um, William Saliba. Gabriel, Timber and Calafuri. Now that's stating that you are defending because at that point we were down one. That's, that means that you are defending. You are defending a 1-1 one -one draw. You're defending a point. That's what it said to me. I don't know how anybody else see but that's what it spelled to me. You're defending that. Personally, go brave. Just go brave. Is it, it the, 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 the season early? Even if we leave um lost the game, at least I'd have feel more better because you know what? You go for the three points. That's what that's what I oh I see. I'm not Mikel it, I'm not the manager and him believe that getting a points is better than don't getting anything. But we could have win the game. Because Brighton was there for the taking. We're at home. We're better than Brighton. So why 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 when Brighton smell blood? Because we fear, so them smell the blood. And they just go for us. We know that Brighton like to retain the ball. So we're not going to say that they, they, they don't like to have the ball. Because even the first half, the game was, to, for me personally, the, the, the both half is just tiki-taki. Tiki-taki ball game playing. Arsenal get the opportunity and didn't take it. And it's not, just like how we play Aston Villa last, I'm, I'm not going to say Every opportunity to come them where they should have scored. Sometimes in a game it happens, sometimes it don't. But game like this when you know Brighton are playing good, then that's when they need to take your chances. And I mean, last last week, um, Aston Villa didn't take their chances. Ollie Watkins didn't take his chances and we win the game. No, this season we didn't take our chances and we didn't look we didn't lost the game, we throw the game. So you know what? It's also one of them one. But, like I said, people, the referee, referee, Pedro, kick away the ball in the first half. Kick it away, far. And he didn't book him. Mikel Ateta was fuming. He didn't book him. Now, the Deccan Rice second yellow card, for me, how oh, I see it, I could be wrong, but, um, what's his name? The number 24, I forgot his name. Um, play the... Um, throw the ball to take the kick. The ball's still rolling. It lick and they can rise um, left foot, yeah, and then come around to his right, yeah, and then they can rise glance over his shoulder and see the ball moving and just barely use his side and foot and tap it, yeah, and then by they can rise to tap the ball, the defender actually going to going to play the ball. Meaning that I'm just gonna, meaning that I'm gonna keep the ball, and by Declan Rice using foot and tap the ball away, yeah, the defender actually kick Declan Rice. Now, I believe the defender should have get the number 24 for Brighton should have get a yellow card for that, and the reason why I say that because it is a spot kick, the ball have to dead. Meaning the ball not supposed to be moving. When he was attempt to clear the ball, to play the ball, the ball was still moving. So that's why Declan Rice used his foot and tap it. So how is it? It's not a dead ball. 
So how is it that you're going to give book the clan rice for that when the ball is still moving? The ball is still moving. That means that you cannot take a spot kick when the ball is still moving. And then you are trying to take a spot kick, yeah, while the ball is still moving. The, the player barely tap the ball because he might walk away and then the referee give him a yellow and you kick him and then the referee give him a yellow card for to, to kick the ball away when a you at the defender throw the ball at him, actually throw the ball at him. Come on man, it's it's ridiculous. I'm not picking up because we're Arsenal, but people for you you getting a spot kick, the ball after dead for you to take that spot kick and the ball did not dead. The ball was still moving. So for all and all I, I see that, that shouldn't be a yellow card for Declan Rice. It should have been a yellow card for the Brighton player. But the referee see it, see it in a different way from oh everybody else see. Then Saka was getting kicked. Saka was getting pulled back. And the referee did not book any one of Brighton player during that time. But everything that we do, he book us, he, he, he call foul, and it was, he, 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 the referee just atrocious. It's just the Arsenal pub, people just out there. So the referee was atrocious. It, it, it wasn't a good referee by, by any standard for the Premier League. I wouldn't say, you know what, the referee make one or two mistakes. No, you make key mistake. And, and that cost us the game but you know what people like I said we didn't lose the game today we draw the game is a point two points drop because we at home so as we drop two points Brighton love that Brighton come to the Emirates and get a point you know they, are, they come here already and they beat us they come here already and knock us out of the, the Carabao Cup so it's nothing new to them it's something that they're always doing so we just need to just look into ourselves and know what we're doing now and, and just knowing that after the international break we're playing tap now we can't drop any more points and just move on from there you understand and just move on from there but like I said Declan Rice will be out only for one game he will miss the Tottenham game um, um, Mikel Moreno I think he's gonna be out for eight weeks because of the shoulder and like I said before you can't having a shoulder problem you can't to really move it up and as you feel like when you feel like you have to give it time to rest and heal so i'm gonna out for some time raheem sterling has signed for arsenal and loan i did tell you that that's him gonna sign before that three two and a half hours before the transfer window close i'm um, close i'd let like you know that raheem sterling going to be an arsenal player see i was right so big up to raheem sterling come in i know that is more that is give us more more experience and more body on the bench who we can turn to at any time because if we have Ryan Sterling like uh, today we know that he would have take off um, Saka and with that pace that Ryan Sterling have they know all the experience maybe we'd have win the game maybe we'd have score one or two more and get to Brighton to come out even more so that's 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 how I see it. but you know what it's, it wasn't to be today and we drew the game but people it's just one of them one but like i said the referee today it was it wasn't good it wasn't good and that is what helped cost us the game because of the bad decision that the referee took and we just have to live with that but like i said people it is what it is so big up on yourself don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel just there at the train station waiting on the train even though i don't reach here yet but Big up on yourself people, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow, and I don't know what they are doing the thing, yard man, over and out.